This is another voice audio conferencing application that works on the Raspberry Pi. The application is called Saren. And it's over here. It's, it runs in the terminal. And it uses the Opus codec. It's a full mesh network. And it's peer-to-peer. -peer. And one unique advantage of this application is you don't have to connect everybody once they connect to you. If they connect to your node or anybody else that's on the node, they will be t connected to everybody else that's currently on here in this particular node, which is AudioConf. I think it you can handle up to 10 people at once. And if you look at the CPU, Saren's not really doing too much, hogging it up too bad. The uh, screen recorder, however, is, and even in spite of that, the audio still is pretty good. So it's running pretty well on the Raspberry Pi. There's some instructions when you download. You have to compile it from source, and there'll be some instructions in the uh, file that you get when you download Saren that'll help you compile it yourself on your Raspberry Pi. You need the library Opus. I already have a client QRQ connected at 20 kilohertz stereo. Let's see what they sound like. We're using for the sound synthesis is something called Super Collider, which is an open source sound synthesizer. It's absolutely amazing, um, and it's all uh, runs on the CPU, so it doesn't. It's really all rely software. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But it was written 15 years ago for the hardware then, um, so it's, it flies on current hardware. Um, so yes, so we're using that for all the synthesis. So it's just using the CPU. So that was just a brief introduction. The audio sounds pretty good, and you can vary that. There's the bit rate is the bit length is a variable during the Saren commands. We're using the ALSA loopback cable, so we're using Jack and ALSA. We created two loopback cables for once for the Saren output, one for the Saren input, using these commands here, ALSA in and ALSA out. And their respective loopback cables are also in the command structure, the command line structure when you bring up Saren to use hardware forward comma zero for the output and 3 comma 0 when you're bringing up Saren for the Saren input. So then these will match. 3 0 works with 3 1 and 4 0 works with 4 1 here. And it shows up in the jack router. We're using QJack CTL. And it's just a, again, this is just a brief, brief introduction. It works very well and the CPU is pretty low even with the uh, screen recorder running. Uh, there'll be some more information if you're interested in the show notes. Thanks for watching.